I was like, is that my kid's room? Was he drinking lead, huge amounts of lead all school year long? Parents of students at 14 Knox County schools have been notified their children's school has faucets with lead. Now, most are elementary schools. Tonight, Knox County School says in total, 21 water fountains, faucets, and taps have tested positive for levels of lead above the EPA maximum. Now, there are schools across the county. From East Knox Elementary to Carnes Elementary, at Sequoia Elementary, a water fountain in a first grade classroom tested at more than five times the EPA maximum for lead. Now, the district says every outlet that tested for lead ha was immediately taken out of service. Yeah, to news reporter Cole Sullivan introduces us to a parent who says she's nervous and a medical expert who says she should be concerned. Cole? Robin, Beth, letters like this one were sent to parents warning about lead and faucets at school. So, and it's not just one or two schools. Knox County says 14 had levels of lead above the state threshold. There's something in the water at Knox County schools. Of course, as a mother, I'm nervous. Laura Forrester is among hundreds of parents that got a letter warning that a water outlet at her child's school tested positive for lead. Was he drinking lead, huge amounts of lead all school year long? The EPA says the maximum contaminant goal for lead is zero. In total, 14 Knox County schools had levels of lead above 20 parts per billion. That's the level where the school has to tell parents about it. At the water fountain in Forrester's son's class, a test showed four times that. But the effects of lead, I think, are scary. Medical experts say parents do not need to panic, but they do need to pay attention. Yeah, it's toxic. It is a heavy metal and it's toxic to your to your body. Kim Crouch is a nurse practitioner. Anything more than 15 parts per billion is something to be concerned about. Knox County's letter does not say what action parents should take or what symptoms they need to be on the lookout for. But I want a little bit more information. Crouch says lead is especially dangerous for pregnant women and young children. Parents who are worried can ask their pediatrician for a blood test. Effects of lead poisoning can include irritability and stomach problems, but Crouch says the most common are behavioral and developmental issues. Something that's going to delay mental uh, development is in the water. Toxic metal that could hurt a child's ability to learn found in Knox County schools. For comparison, Anderson County Schools told us when it tested, one faucet in a storage closet tested positive for lead. Maryville City Schools says it didn't have any lead tests above the state threshold. We'll post that full list very shortly on our website, WBR.com. Robin, Beth. Cool, thank you. We're learning more about the arrest.